here's the dilemma. You have so many cute bottle cap designs, yet you can't choose just one to go on your hair bow. Anybody else have this dilemma? Oh my goodness, I have such an addiction to buying these little bottle cap images, and I want to use every one of them, but let's face it, I'm lazy, and I don't want to make that many bows. So, what's a girl to do? Or if you make a hair bow and you want to give your customer options, but yet you don't know which bottle caps to use, uh, hello, let's make them interchangeable. That's what we're going to do today. I'm going to share with you a tip on how to make um, interchangeable bottle caps for your hair bows. So, you can create one bow, but yet you can have 10 different looks with bottle cap images. All right, of course you're going to need your many, many, many bottle cap images. You will need these magnetic sheets. They are adhesive, and they're really thin, and uh, I got two in this pack, and I think I paid like two bucks for this, um, Walmart, I believe. But anyways, they're, they're pretty thin. Anyways, you'll need those. You'll also need your one-inch hole punch. You will need bottle caps, of course, and I prefer the flat, but you can use the other. And I'm using uh, the clear epoxies to go on top. And your glue of choice. This is an E6000. You can use super glue or your hot glue. But anyways, that is the um, supplies that we're going to be working with. What you'll need to do first is you will need to go ahead and make your hair bow and completely attach it to the clip and then attach your plain bottle cap. And if you need help on how to attach your bottle cap to your hair bow, just see the previous video. But that's what you will need to do first. Okay, and once you have figured out which bottle caps you're going to be working with, I think I'm going to do this, Daddy Did My Hair. And we're going to do one for Halloween, too. This says, I'll put a spell on you. Anyways, these are the two bottle caps that I'm going to be working with. I'm going to put them to the side. You're going to take your hole punch, and we're going to need to have uh, two circles cut into this um, adhesive magnetic sheet of whatever this is. Magnetic sheets. That's what it is. All right, so, and your hole punch should cut, you know, fairly easy. Uh-oh, there it went. <laughs> okay, but anyways, cut two. And then they're going to be the perfect circles. And this one has the adhesive on the back, which is going to be awesome because I won't have to put too much glue. All right, so what you want to do now is you want to pull back that adhesive, that sticky stuff. And then we're going to stick the bottle cap design right here on top. Try to get it, you know, as close as you can. Hello? Okay. Alright. There we go. Now you're going to take your clear epoxy circle thingamajig. And we are going to just simply, hello, get off. What the heck? Okay, we're not going to work with that one. All right, we're going to just put it right on top of that. Ta-da! Now your image is completely done. Take your bow. There's your bottle cap! How easy was that? I got fingerprints on it, but that's okay. Anyways, and because the bottle cap is metal, it is going to allow the magnet to catch and stick to it. And then you can just pry that one off when you're done and you can make your other one the same way and put an epoxy right in the center and then we have another image. And now we have two. 
turn it around. Now we have two different looks for this one hair bow. And that is how you make your um, bottle caps interchangeable. And see, you don't have to worry about the bottle cap coming off because it is magnet. Magic!